I'm Renee Allen in a News 10 exclusive. Lafayette's police chief Judith Estridge answers the tough questions. The chief taps into concerns about staffing to being able to effectively manage crime. She explains about recruitment efforts and the 8 to 10 percent staff shortage or vacancy. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. A homeowner lost everything in a house fire in St. Martin Parish Wednesday afternoon. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrika Taylor in Karen Crow after Joyce Goody's home burned down in September of last year. She is moving back to a renovated home thanks to help of a local contractor and the community. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. The recent increase in fuel costs for customers who have Jeff Davis Electric Co-op is because of the low water levels in the Mississippi River. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hoag. Originally slated to begin following last football season, the renovations of Donald Gardner Stadium in Opelousas have been delayed. With several high-profile matchups for Opelousas High School bringing more people to the city next season, Mayor Julius Alzander says the delay was essential. Hello, Acadiana, and good morning. Acadiana Eats brand new this week with the iCater Events food truck setting up on the north side this weekend. Much more coming up all day long on KLFY. There's a look at the seven day forecast once again. We're going to see a few showers today, some warm, breezy, and cloudier weather. Sunshine back tomorrow, and some warm and comfortable weather to enjoy over the weekend.